into my garden. Now, uh, this recent spell of hot weather that we've had has uh, meant that I've not been able to get out. It's really affected my breathing quite substantially. But I still wanted to show you what I do in the garden in September. So I've been back over some of the last four years looking at the September films and taken some sections out to bring you this week in the show. And we're going to start off down in the area that is now the Woodland Garden, which is uh, where I was actually doing some uh, repair to the grass in 2020. So uh, that'll be where we start off the uh, show today. But uh, until then, I'll say welcome to September 2024 in a year gardening. <laughs> over the course of this summer this grass has taken a real bashing with all of the construction work and the rebuilding that I've been doing in the garden and so this is a really really bad patch of the ground so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some repair down on this and reseed this area but first of all I've got to do the preparation and I'm going to be just raking out all of the dead material cleaning that back exposing some soil in the barrow here i've got some seed and cutting compost and i'm going to mix some grass seed in with that and then just start to repair these areas so let's get on with that now when you are repairing the grass it's so important to get all of this dead stuff out of the way and you'll be surprised how much there is clearing all of this is going to allow contact with the soil I think some of this will naturally grow back but we're just going to give it a hand just got to take all of this off of here That's just the first bit. Get the other rake on it now. Now with the ordinary rake, I'm just gonna really get in here. Give this a good old clean down. Try and expose just a little bit more of the soil here. Lovely. The more of this dead stuff I get out of the way, the better it is to give us the preparation that we're going to need. And that's, as I say, it's really surprising the amount you can take off of here. That's going to be good enough for what I need to do. Well, I've got my seed here and all I'm going to do is just really sprinkle this it's got a little sprinkler here I'm going to sprinkle this into this compost and keep mixing it and so I'm actually over seeding this because some of this is a um, lawn feed as well that's mixed into this little container and we can keep going in here keep mixing it all up and basically I will put the whole box in here, it's nicely spread out. Here we get that lot in here. So it's got seed, it's got feed, and it's got some soil here as well. And this will be enough to do the package that I've got in the garden. got to keep just mixing as I go so I get a good distribution of the seed throughout all the compost a 
well there we have our mix and so I'm just going to start now just move up here and I'm just going to take it a handful at a time and work that down into the ground here because it's got some compost mixed in with the seed it's going to give it a nice bed now when I water this I'm actually going to bed it down into the ground so we don't have any raised areas but I'm also tamping it as I go and I'm going to bring this right the way down here and this will be as good a bit of grass in about 14 days as the rest of it most important thing is not to cut it for a while to allow the grass to take some good roots this will be absolutely terrific when it's done and just be nice for having our late summer picnics on in the garden Now I'll keep doing this all the way down this section here. Now I've got another section of the garden to do over there as well. But uh, I've probably only done enough for this section at the moment. We'll uh, get this all looking nice. And uh, hopefully we'll have the grass up here. I can't see any reason why not. Well, that's this section all down. And now we're just going to give it a nice water in. Got it all stemped down using the old size 10s. So it's nice and level with the ground. I'm just going to give it a nice water now. And as I said before, I think it was last week, you know, now we've got shorter days, germination is not so quick. However, this will only be a couple of weeks I'm sure and we'll see grass here well this area has changed a lot since 2020 with the lovely trees and shrubs in the woodland border now but let me take you back to 2021 when I first explained about what I was going to do here well this is the area where we did have the gazebo and as you can see the grass is very very damaged and rather than repair replace the grass i'm going to enlarge the borders here and join them together but i'm going to put a couple of chairs back into this area so that we can sit down enjoy the stream and enjoy the flowers from sitting surrounded by plants so that's uh, a little job for next spring and uh, I may well start over the next month or so to dig this new border out and think about the planting for that. So uh, quite a lot to get done in this area. Also whilst I'm talking about digging, the rose garden, far too many plants coming through in there now. So I'm going to thin that out, take out some of the self-seeding plants and move some of the geraniums and a couple of those geraniums will probably end up in this border here and I'm going to be uh, ordering now a lot of my spring and early summer bulbs and I'm going to be under planting the rhododendron with a fair nice mix I think I'll probably get some alliums and some crocuses maybe some dwarf daffodils this sort of thing just to give us a nice bit of colour and I'm thinking of putting some snowdrops around the edge as well now if you're going to be um, growing snowdrops the best thing to do is to buy those in the green um, so you get a little pot at the garden centre with the green growth on them um, you can plant them uh, as a, a dried uh, bulb but they're going to take a very very long time to come to flower and so I'm just going to get some at the garden centre next spring and plant those in the green in the ground and then we'll be able to enjoy flowers on those for the coming years so that's a general plan for uh, what we're going to be doing down here
Well, as you can see, this section of the garden has been through quite a transformation over the last few years. Now, back in September of 2022, this little amanchia tree had uh, had some damage in the storms. Doing well now, but uh, let's see how we repaired it then. Well, here we are at the amanchia tree, and during the strong winds that came with the thunderstorms the other day, this has received a little bit of damage, and we've got a break here, so we don't want to risk any disease getting into the tree. And I can see that just below where the break is, we have got some fresh growth coming up. So my intention is to actually cut straight through that and remove the damaged section. And so I'm just going to take my loppers inside there and with one nice clean cut, cut that off. And there we have the damaged section which is uh, not very pleasant, but that has obviously broken right through there. So we've now taken that out and that removes the risk of more disease getting into this lovely tree. Well, catching up to date and going back to September last year is when I was pruning the apple tree in order for it to increase the fruit on it. And this year, it's absolutely covered. So let's show you that pruning now. Well, the apples are not quite ready to pick yet. Just need to give it a gentle twist and it should come off in your hand. But they're not quite ready yet. Hopefully in the next seven to 10 days, they will be. However, the tree is ready for a little bit of cutting and tidying back to control the height and this particular branch here is going far too high now when we cut the leader out last year that hasn't grown anymore and we're going to do the same thing we're going to cut that right back here to take this as i said last year a new one will become the leader and this one's now got to come out well, it's quite unbelievable, really, but this has grown nearly two metres up into the air, so I've got to be careful taking this one out, but it's got to come out nice and close to the bottom. So we're going to take this out, and I'll watch my head so it doesn't fall on me. Oh, it can fall on anyone else, but not on me. And that's taken that one nicely out. We'll just have a look around here. That's not too bad, not too bad, but over the side here, we've got one. We're going to take this off just above this growth here. And I'll take that away. There's one more over the side here. We're going to just tidy this up where it's growing out over the patio. Clean that back. These are actually nice strong branches and these will bear fruit next year. So, well, that was something a little bit different. Covered a few of the uh, jobs that we have to do at this time of year. But uh, jobs that I just can't do at the moment. And uh, that's why I'm so grateful for the help I've been getting. So uh, <clears throat> there are a few things I've got planned for the next show and one of which the uh, wishing well I have in the front garden unfortunately that has got to come down and uh, be replaced because it's starting to rot and so I'll show you the lovely ornament that I've got to replace that but uh, that's about it for this show so until next time stay well stay safe be kind to each other and uh, with a small glass, happy gardening. Cheers.